Hey, good morning. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Mm. Wow. I just can't get behind the camera today. Not this morning. I'm really taking some time for myself today. It's Sunday and it's the first weekend I've been in my new place. And I will be traversing back and forth between this new room and the space at the home, the place that I lived for 15 plus years and hanging out with my family there a couple of nights a week. Lots of change, yes. It is July of 2023 and the Sunday morning coffee is for me. I actually spent the morning talking to two different close friends of mine and getting support and just hashing out some things. There's a lot. Perspective, you know, time passes and you can't help but think, where was I this time last year? And I'm looking forward to a refresh. I feel like I'll pass a threshold in August that will uh, put me past that time last year that I had COVID, that time last year that I was in Disney World, that time after my dad's 20th anniversary of his death and the healing journey I embarked upon from May through August of 2022 with intention. I didn't know I was in unknown territory. I had no idea why. I just knew my dad came to me right before Memorial Day weekend and said, you need to prepare. I didn't understand why. During the summer last year, I lost my beloved diamond, my beautiful miniature dachshund, who was the embodiment of love. And I lost her during July, which was actually the archetypal energy of the goddess of love month. I lost a lot of love that month. It turns out that the old ways of loving and being were fading for me and had been for a while, for some time. And I refused to see it, to allow myself to know it. And that's tough when you're an intuitive and you're a psychic and you know stuff and you refuse to see So many times I have refused to see over the past two years and now I'm trying to not let myself fall into a state of unknowing by avoiding, but rather by truly seeing and being present. I'm not sure what the Sunday morning coffee will be entitled. It is me showing up to connect and share with you as I often do every Sunday hoping to inspire your spirit and fill you with some hope and the truth is I don't feel lacking in motivation or inspiration and I don't feel overjoyed either I feel very much in a center place a place where I'm being reflective and allowing things to shift. And at some point I hope to clear so that I don't feel overwhelmed by surprised emotions or flooded or like I can't breathe. Because in the past, over the past year especially, I've had so many moments of depth of darkness like I've been underwater and I just can't get to the top and of darkness like I've been in a cave that hasn't been comforting but it's been lonely and isolating and there will be times I know that I'll feel these ways again but I I don't plan to live there or to stay there any length of time like I have this past year I've experienced things I've never experienced before, such as the depths of depression starting in August of 2023. And then moving into states of complete unwellness where I wouldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. It was very difficult. And I know that many of you will not realize some of that. Like, I hit it pretty well, didn't I? I'd like to think I did, but I know I did share things with my 
clients who are my reoccurring clients. So they knew what was up with me and what was happening, what was going on so that I was very transparent with them. And also I could still, of course, work and hold space like I've always done because it is the one thing that kept me going was the light that I could connect with inside myself when I connected with you. You helped me remember my light and hold my light in my center, in my alignment, even though I felt so shattered and my heart was so broken and I felt not worthy, not good enough for anyone. I felt so completely unlovable and abandoned and cast aside and filled with guilt and shame and hurt and so much pain like I had never been experienced before, like that had never been inflicted upon me. Like I never thought people, I never thought there could be so much hurt and pain in love. And I recognized that most of my life I had been in a place where I wouldn't allow myself to go too deep with love. I thought I had love. I've been married twice for crying out loud. And I thought I had it, you know, and in my most recent marriage, my partner had been, he had been so gentle and nurturing and loving and supportive and yet completely devastated and going through a depth of process of change and shift and turmoil and challenge caused by me, the disruption of the marriage inflicted upon by me and my actions and also by things beyond my control. Oh, there were some things definitely in my control that I definitely caused, but there are also many things about me discovering myself that I couldn't not love me. So over the past year, I just like today, I'm choosing me. I'm choosing me today. I'm not going to get behind a camera. <laughs> Partly too, because like my hair is legit too long. <laughs> and I don't like the way it looks right now. It's so long, you guys. It's this mop of hair. I just haven't gone and gotten it cut. I need to get it cut, cut and I need to feel like myself. And right now the truth is I don't really know how I want to express me because I'm in this state of shifting and I want to kind of move through some of the newness of of new territory, of my new room, my new bed. Oh my gosh, my new bed. Let me just tell you. Oh my gosh, it's a big bed. I got a big old bed. I'm laying on it right now. It is comfy, but it is big. And I'm looking at my cool mustard colored curtains and my beautiful blue wall. And I just, it's going to come together in here. It's peaceful and it's warm and sunny and solar plexus like and it feels good and it also feels strange because it's new you know so I'm in this place where there's like polarity and duality and that's okay because you know what most of us are in that place a lot aren't we come on now you are too you know it you know it you know it you know it you're in that place where you're like I just want to go out and have a good time I just want some joy in my life And you're also in the place where, oh my God, I'm working my ass off. I'm working 50 hours a week. I'm not loving my job or I'm in a relationship that is less than fulfilling for me or I'm not showing up for my friends or I miss my friends or my best friend moved away or my kid just moved out of of the house or my kid just dropped out of college or whatever your thing is, you know, there's like this desire to have fun and have freedom and and laugh and have a good time and then also this all these responsibilities of of adulthood and of life and and expectations and commitments and things and so there's that always that duality right and so it's never one or the other fully there's always the and and that space in the middle which is center right so maybe that's what sunday morning coffee is about finding yourself letting yourself be exactly where you're at without having to adapt or adjust to meet somebody else's expectation. I know, I know y'all like to watch the videos. And I know this Sunday morning coffee will not get as many likes or views or what have you on YouTube, but that's just the way it is. That's okay. That's okay. Actually, you know what? Let me do a card for you because I've been doing that. Um, I've been using my card decks and actually I have two here. 
that I use. Um, one is, sorry, I just rubbed my foot along my bed here. I have a, you guys, mattress covers, like a fluffy mattress pad, like a topper. Oh my God, it changes everything. Game changer. That's what I put on my bed and it's like, oh, it's cozy. All right. So anyway, so I have two card decks here and one of them, my sister has a bunch of decks too. And so one of them, my sister's my roommate. So um, I'm renting from her. So Um, I have this beautiful deck. It's called the, let's see, what is it called? Let me, Universal Dragon Oracle by Carla Moro, Universal Dragon Oracle. I have this thing about dragons, you guys. Oh my gosh. So my next tattoo, I think, will be, um, I have this beautiful design of a dragon and it's like a shadow. It's like a circle. So it's like a yin-yang symbol and it's a light dragon and a dark dragon. So it's like the shadow and the light. I love dragons. They're so, um, they're a new totem animal for me in the last, I don't know, eight years, I'd say. (laughs) New they're new. They're so alchemical. I love it. I love it. So let's pull one of these cards for you and for me. Okay. So I'm going to do one for you and one for me. Ooh. Okay. So the one for me is knowledge and she's red and in a library, very Halls of Amente like. If you don't know what that is, Halls of Amente, it's like Akashic Records, the Hall of Records. It's like that. If you don't know what either one of those two things are, go ahead and look it up. Halls of Amente or... Akashic Records, and it actually has a tree, which I love trees. Oh my gosh, I love trees. Oh, trees are my favorite. Trees are my favorite, and it actually has, looks like a peach tree. <laughs> looks like it has peaches. It might be apples, but we're just going to call them peaches because I kind of like that orange sacral chakra color mixed with the dragon who is red and root chakra color. Very cool, and the word is knowledge. Now, the one I pulled for you guys is... The dragon of stillness, and she is quite contented, sitting in a pond of peaceful water. The word is stillness, and she and her coloring is brown, and she kind of blends in with the brown of the trees behind her, and it looks as though the moon is lit also behind her, a yellow moon solar plexus. The water is actually green, so that can represent your emotions and your heart space. And the fact that it's still, it means the emotions can find peace. So may you feel some peace in this moment, calming and breathing into your heart chakra to settle those emotions, okay? To recognize emotions are just energy and information. You don't have to identify with them or take ownership of them completely. Allow them to just be, just be. This dragon's wings are purple. That purple energy is the crown chakra connected to the divine feminine and to wisdom. And there is a ton of lush greenery around her. So there's forest. There are lots of trees, a grove of trees to support you, to encompass you and to create safe and sacred space for you in the stillness. So it feels like there's a lot of energy here for your heart to be calm. And if you don't feel calm in your heart right now, all you have to do is just take a moment to feel into your body, to soften your shoulders, to allow the breath, your gentle breathing, to bring air into your heart, to calm and soothe it, to imagine a tranquil water, just a pond where you could sit inside of it with the cooling energy of the water so you don't feel the intensity, you don't feel the hurt or the pain or the anger, not the disruption, but the soothing, calming energy as the water touches your feet. As you sit down in the water, let it come up to your waist, just sitting. And as you're breathing in, and exhaling out, allow the water and the air elements to work together for you. The water representing emotion and divine feminine energy, the heart chakra, the heart space, and the air to help support the energy of grief to be released in the lungs, to support the heart in the back, to support the clearing 
the releasement, the letting go, the softening of old emotion that is no longer serving you, that is tying you, that is holding you back, that is making you feel sick and restricted in your heart and your lungs and breathe nice and deep as though you are sipping up the energy of the water below your sits bones at that root chakra, breathing it in like a straw, sipping it all the way up into your body, allowing it to go into the pranic tube of the spine and to cool you, to bring calming and soothing energy into the body, to allow you to feel safe and secure, to allow you to receive the stillness, the calm, the quiet, the sensory energy, even if you're in the midst of chaos as you breathe in, drawing up that cool water into the body, softening and soothing as it moves through the chakras to go wherever it is needed in your physical human body, into your etheric body, into your chakra system. Allowing yourself to be centered, grounded and connected, centered, grounded, and fully connected to you, to the source of the water, the energy of the earth, to the air that brings you the life force energy. As you move throughout your day, may you feel the support all around you and moving through you with every natural breath that you take. Know that you are held in this sacred space, in these sacred ways. You are loved through the stillness. And with that, we will wrap up this edition of Sunday Morning Coffee. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the podcast today. I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow on Monday for a channeling on Above Life Channel on YouTube. Thanks for being here.